Fair use, fair use. A couple uh, given $1 million. Why? Because of an illegal raid over $50. Put it up full of mass. Hell of a story here. Uh, in Alabama, Greg Allman, along with his wife, has they have now been awarded $1 million of damages over an illegal raid. The illegal raid was executed on their home by sheriff's deputies several years ago, which ultimately left the two of them destitute and cast out by their own community over nothing. The raid took place on January 30th. Yo, yo, yo. It's your boy for show coming through the door, giving you everything you need to know. Uh, this wild little story right here, man. Y'all want to listen up real quick? Give me a couple seconds. We're going to get into it. First 2018, deputies with the Randolph County Sheriff's Office in Alabama went to serve civil court papers to Greg and Teresa Allman in their home in Woodland, Alabama, according to the court documents. Greg Allman was not home at the time, but his wife told the deputies to come back in about two hours. A deputy at the house said he smelled marijuana. Oh, my goodness. He smelled marijuana and the entire damn drug task force was alerted that he smelled marijuana. They convened and returned to the couple's home a few hours later without ever obtaining a warrant, no search warrant. Man, this or is nothing. crazy, man. Police Quote, do whatever they want to do. After kicking in the door, one of the members of the drug task force threw a shock explosive device inside the residence because somebody smelled marijuana who was en route to open the door of the residence was injured when the explosive blew up at his feet. Now, these policemen went to serve some papers, not a warrant. Dude wasn't there. They said they smelled marijuana. So they alerted the whole task force. You come kick the door in, kick the door off the hinges without a warrant, throw a bomb in there, kind of, I'm coming to answer the door and the bomb blows up on me. Then when y'all come in, y'all handcuff us, lay us down. Well, not us, but lay them down and uh, handcuff them, ramshack the apartment, find $50 worth of bud, some jewelry, uh, a safe full of guns and eight thousand in cash, and then y'all take him to jail. The son comes down, said the marijuana is his. The family, the, the parents don't smoke. They still charge the family, the, the the parents with possession, paraphernalia, and and try to give them another charge. So they couldn't get their money back to the charges was dropped, even though it was a legal search. Man, this stuff is getting out of hand, man. This stuff getting out of hand, man. Like that's what I was talking about in my video the other day, man. About this, about these uh these lawmakers, man, that want all these votes and stuff, man. When y'all gonna do some real stuff that's gonna really benefit people, man? Get some control over these damn police, man. They just do whatever they want to do. And as long as you write the paperwork right, everything good. This shit is crazy, man. That ain't how it's supposed to be. And I need to work around this stuff, so I already know how it, how it is. Y'all you y'all spend an hour or two writing that paperwork and make sure not one word off for anything because you can get sued over it. So I already know how that go. Can't run that on me. So yeah, y'all y'all be finessing people who didn't get in there and change that paperwork around. Just like the little video they had yesterday. The uh it was a it was a white guy. This this case right here was white. You know what I'm saying? Not trying to make it about color. But it was a, it was another scenario yesterday where a, a white guy was working with another dude. And the, the black guy was the manager. The white guy accused him of stealing. They come in, arrest him, take him down. Say he stole the thing and, and you know what I'm saying, and took it home. Now, when they come arrest him and take him, what he, what he allegedly took pops up 10 minutes later. The man still lost his job. Never got an apology. 
nothing. And they was totally wrong. He didn't do nothing wrong. But lost his job because of assumption. Even though they proved it was proven he had nothing to do with it. He was totally innocent. He still lost his job, man. So man, this shit is it's it's crazy, man. Then the police gonna tell the dude, yeah, we gonna doctor up the uh the documents so it don't fall on y'all. That's what I'm saying, dude. Let's get some fairness across the board, man. That's all I be saying, man. It should be fair across the board, man. These police got free will to do whatever they want to do. Then you had the one. They supposed to be arresting the guy. They got the man in the back. The police walking to the back of the car. An acorn fall on top of the, the car. This motherfucker get to busting all over. The, get to shooting up the car and everything. The police car. Talking about I'm hit, I'm hit, I'm hit. He rolling all on the ground, shooting up the car. Then another officer start busting in the same car. What the uh the person handcuffed in the car? How the fuck I'm finna shoot and I'm handcuffed with my hands behind my back? So they just firing up the car. The dude laid down to play dead. The only reason why he still he survived. So they shooting up glass, falling all on him and everything. And then the dude talking about yeah man. I was walking to the car and I just felt some a uh, 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 strict pain and my leg just gave out and and it was just a burning sensation. So they went and reviewed the damn cameras. So they asked, dude, they said, uh, so yeah, that was an acorn that fell on the top of the car. He said, acorn? Yeah, acorn. Dude didn't have nothing to say. So you blatantly just made up this whole fucking lie to justify you down there killing this man. We got to get some police reform around here, man. This shit is getting out of hand, man. For real, dog. It's getting out of hand. That don't make no sense, man. But leave a comment, man. Let me know what y'all think, man. For show TV, the best TV. Still giving to you with this back surgery. In pain, I'm still bringing you this pain with words. You know what I'm talking about? But yeah, man, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna ask y'all to like, share, subscribe, and ask y'all to watch another video, man. And if you like that, watch another one. It's a lot of good content, man. I talk about a lot of topics, man. For sure, TV, the best TV.